Good evening, we see. It's Sunday evening here in Germany. It's a little late and um, I was about to go to bed, but then I found, uh, then I checked YouTube and I found David's uh, contest, the Vinyl Vault. So David, congratulations to 154 subscribers at the moment. That's so cool. Um, I love your channel. I just checked out some, some of your latest videos just before I recorded this video and um, yeah congrats cool and I really like the idea of the contest and here are my favorite album covers the first one is the freewheeling Bob Dylan this is one of the covers that I mean it looks so cool there is snow on the front and he's wearing this great um, brown jacket and there is this hippie Volkswagen in the background and it's just one of the covers that, that um, give you a very good feeling of the time of the of the early 60s and I think it, the, the picture was taken in New York City and um, it makes me just want to go there because it looks so cool. Okay, the second one. Sweet Smoke, Just a Poke. Um, I think this is an obvious cover. It, um, it's a little bit drugged out and um, very psychedelic. Uh, he's smoking something there and um, that's a really cool cover it's jazz rock and if you don't know the album be sure to check it out it's really cool up next uh, some german crowd rock this is birth control hoodoo man with the crazy cover art and it's not only this fat lady on the front cover actually it's a gatefold and it continues on the back cover so that's um, that's very cool i really like that cover and it's a great album too Sorry. Up next, uh, Kraftwerk, Autobahn, or this one is actually called Doppelalbum. Um, I really like the simple, um, the simple cover, and um, that if you if you see that in a store or uh, anywhere, it directly comes to your mind, and that's um, that's an amazing album. I'm a big Kraftwerk fan, and um, it's just the simplicity that makes this cover great. And I also have to show uh, Autobahn. That's the original German Autobahn cover, it's the first pressing and um, uh, I had that framed on my wall for some time and that's just an iconic, iconic album art. I mean, it's it's world famous and I, I really love that album. Okay, the next one is um, an, easy, an easy one, but I wanted to be the first person who shows it. It's Nirvana, Nevermind, a classic 90s grunge album, one of the, of I think, one of the most famous uh, cover arts then there is not much to say about it it's just an amazing album and um, I think this is a good example where a perfect album and a perfect cover art come together and become one um, and make a connection the next one is very funny I showed that before it's FX twin window liquor and <laughs> um, yeah I, I don't have to say much about it it's just white on the back so the interesting part is here and especially here <laughs> Um, yeah, FX Twin, Window Liquor. The next one, another 90s jam, introducing DJ Shadow. It's the famous record store scene that we all know, I, I, uh, I would say, and it's, uh, it's one of my all-time favorite albums. I love it from start to finish, and um, I always try try to take a very close look and try to find out what records are, are on the picture because I think everything has a message behind and I, I just love this is one of the most famous cover arts too uh, I just I just love it okay again the 90s this is the cover to the soundtrack of Pulp Fiction um, this is one of my favorite movies and also one of my favorite soundtracks and as you can see, it's Yuma Thurman on the on the front cover, laying on the back and smoking a cigarette. And um, yeah, this is just Quentin Tarantino always took great care of good music in his in his movies, and um, this is just so cool. I mean, the scene and the whole movie and the music, and when a song plays, I dir I directly have to think of the scene in the movie. Okay, the last two ones are jazz. This is Sonny Clark, Cool Strutton. Blue Note and um, uh, the famous, the famous uh, woman who is walking by, and yeah, that's that's just such a cool cover and um, one of the best Blue Note titles, one of the best jazz records ever made. 
And same as for the, the last one for today. This is Cooking with the Miles Davis Quintet on Prestige. I have a second copy which is uh, framed on my wall right there. And this is such a great, uh, such a great artwork. And um, you have to think that this is a classic 50s album actually. And I love it that you get the point point of view of Miles Davis playing the trumpet. And that's that's just so cool in every way. So, again, um, congratulations, David, The Vinyl Vault. I will link your channel in the description. And, yeah, have a great week. VC Good. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.